Amy is a hugger. She she likes that kind of thing more than me. I get super awkward with, you know, it's nice that we help somebody out that much, but that is not a requirement for a perfect deal for me. Perfect deal, and Amy, jump in here if you would like. Um, a perfect deal, it centers around the numbers, but um, for that, for the numbers to even work for both sides, it has to make sense. So we're providing a value for the seller. Um, it could be that they need to close quick. It could be that they need to go through probate, but they don't know the process and they're afraid it's going to cost them $20,000 for probate or, um, you know, they have a problem tenant. There's, I mean, before when we bought a house, the lady's daughter was living in it and her daughter was in her thirties or forties um, and bad family situation and daughter wouldn't let mom in. We never got to see the inside of the house, but mom could not bring herself to actually file eviction on her daughter. She knew that we were going to, it was a conversation we had very specifically with her. Um, and she was fine with that. She knew that was going to happen, but she couldn't bring herself to be the one that actually did it. So um, the perfect deal, obviously the numbers work, but we're helping somebody out. We're not just in it for every nickel and dime. We want to actually help people. Yeah. So I'm a super emotional person and sometimes in real estate, that's not a good thing. I feel like a lot of times in ours, it is a good thing. Uh, the perfect deal for me there's deals out there all the time. So the money is, is nice, but the perfect deal is when at closing table, the seller is hugging you and crying because you helped them out of a situation so bad um, for them. So it kind of gives you the feels. It helps me sleep better at night when I know I have done something for a seller. Um, and obviously it has to work for both sides. So the numbers have to be there, but I know one situation we had, um, a dog, um, it was a mom and I think two sons and, um, she needed mm -hmm. to sell her house for a kidney transplant, I believe for her son, um, or else he wasn't going to make it. And she'd already lost one son to it. Um, and so us buying the house at the right price that worked for both of us, she was able to provide that health care for her son and, uh, prolong his life for a little bit. So it just kind of gives you the feels. Can I throw in real quick a difference with this? A perfect opportunity is not one where they will hug me at, at closing. <laughs> Amy is a hugger. She she likes that kind of thing more than me. Um, yeah, I, I get super awkward when they go to hug me. It, it it's nice. It you know, it's nice that we help somebody out that much, but that is not a requirement for a perfect deal for me.